Can you believe it? 65% of all homes sold in the new market in April were either at or above the asking price. I'm Darcy Toombs, a broker and team leader with Toombs Team Real Estate Group at Coldwell Banker, the Real Estate Center. And here's the top four things you need to know about what happened in the local real estate market in April, 2023. In April, inventory of active listings was actually the lowest we've had on record for an April ever. And if you watch my previous market update videos, I'm probably sounding like a bit of a broken record, but this is a main reason why the market is so crazy right now. While inventory did temporarily jump over 100 active listings, the second half of the month, sales really outpaced the number of new listings coming to the market. Two, 80 of the 122 sales were sold either at or above the asking price. This means that 65% of all sales were reported sold over asking. And of those, 14 were sold for more than 120% of the asking price. All right, here's a little bit of a rant. I get extremely frustrated when I see properties priced for two to 400,000 below the expected market value, and that's for the following reasons. It's a tremendous waste of time for us agents and our buyer clients to view properties, prepare offers, get excited about the prospect of owning that home, only to fall short by a mile of what the seller's expectations are. These prices are so misleading for not only the buyer, but also it's an inconvenience for the sellers who are now getting a tremendous number of showings of unqualified buyers who actually can't afford to purchase the home at the seller's expectations. Now, I don't have a problem with home selling for over the asking price. That even happens in a buyer's market. It just really frustrates me when I see games being played with housing. Now, with this record number of over asking sales, the average price in April was actually lower than the previous month. It was in fact the lowest average price we've seen all year. And year over year is actually $108,000 less than it was in April of 2022. This has a lot to do with more activity in the entry level and condo markets and the fact that there was only two sales over $2 million. Three, months of inventory was the lowest we've seen since December, 2021. Based on this, it would only take 0.66 months to sell up all the inventory if the sales remain constant. That is really low, especially for this time of year. In fact, New Market had the lowest months of inventory of all of York Region with Aurora just behind. And four, April 2023 was the first time since June 2021 that the year over year sales count was actually higher than it was the previous year. There were seven more sales in April 2023 than there was in April 2022, even though the active listings in the month of April were literally half of what they were a year ago. This is really baffling as you would assume that the demand for housing would push prices up, not down by $108,000, but that's the power of the interest rate. All right, so what does this all mean? Well, we've been in a seller's market all year. Demand has remained strong for homes under 1.2 million and less so for homes over 1.8 million, unless they're in a very special location. The rising cost of home ownership is slowly starting to drive prices down, but not nearly as much as we had expected because there's just not enough inventory. The Bank of Canada is scheduled to meet on June 7th, and if they hold interest rates again, this will be seen as a sign that interest rates have peaked and it'll likely mean more buyers will start to enter the market. We're still holding on to our prediction that inventory levels will rise likely through the summer, which will take a little pressure off buyers as there'll be more options for them to choose, which could then also further drive down prices. But as we see from the numbers, the average sale price is actually already down, even in this hot market. And if you're a homeowner and you'd like to get an idea on what your home is worth in today's market, we'd love to have a talk with you to give you a complimentary and honest opinion of value on what your home is worth in today's market. Go to tombs.team slash value for more information. All right, and if you're a data nerd like I am and want to geek out on market stats, we've just put the finishing touches on our market report, The Market, which goes into great detail on what's been happening in the local real estate market, talking about different trends and so on. And if you'd like to get a copy sent to your inbox each month, click the link below to subscribe to our newsletter. Thanks for watching. And if you like our videos and you want to stay up to date with what's happening in the local real estate market, please subscribe to our channel. We love to cover all things real estate and what else is happening around the market. All right, we'll see you next month. Thank you.